in order to model the trusses, I go back into the CAD file, and what I did was create a, f a fence line to extend the edges of the trusses across the plan of the drawing. And I'm going to save this out and re-import it into my uh, a SketchUp model. Right? It should put it in precisely the same place because I haven't changed the, the border. So I'm going to say uh, save as this drawing the crop. Let's just add truss to the end of it. And then minimize this. And now we're back in SketchUp. Let's go to a plan view. Uh, turn off columns and floor slabs. And we'll leave on the walls right now, just so that we can see that in effect our new imported drawing lines up. And I'm going to file import the CAD drawing that we just uh, created that has those additional lines. And we can see that it uh, has um, imported to exactly the same place. Now let me turn off the walls and the original CAD underlay so that I can take this new CAD underlay and group it. So I'm just going to uh, select it all so and say uh, make group and I'm create a I'm going to create a layer for it called similar CAD underlay truss and place it on that layer so that we can control its visibility. Now that it's grouped, it's on that layer, we can simply use it to begin drawing uh, the outline of the trusses. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool and go from ins inside face of wall to inside face of wall. You can later adjust that if you need to. Intersection. before I do all of these because they're, they're basically all done the same way. Well, it's going pretty quickly, so let's see if we can finish that. Remember from the CAD drawing, these are going to be extruded to a height of 4, 6. Now, it's naive to believe that that's uh, 4 foot 6 inches by 12 inches by solid wood. You probably have a, a truss component that we could. I'm not sure that actually snapped to the edge it was supposed to. So let me undo that last rectangle and zoom in a bit. Uh, that it's solid wood, so we we could we can later find a truss component.
here, well, that's giving me the center line of the door. That'll be alright. I think that's where I want them to go finally, but for now, let's be consistent. Let's infer that egg, that truss edge. I think that, I think it'll infer those two intersections, that's good. And we've got three more to go. Let's go uh, quickly go into ISO mode, make sure we have a flat drawing, we didn't get any um, outlying uh, stray snaps. It looks like we have a pretty flat drawing. The only difference is that that edge is to the uh, center line of the wall, so I think what we'll do is um, modify that single uh, truss. So I'm going to infer inside edge of wall. And let's see. So we've drawn that edge. Can we do that? Yeah. So we can use the eraser tool now to erase that guide. Erase. Oops. I didn't want to uh, erase the... Um, I should have done this before, but it's helpful to take and lock an underlay in place. It also uh, creates, uh, changes the color to red, so you can see that uh, you now we can use the erase to remove stray edges. Good. We're going to take each of these now. Let us change the visibility of the underlay truss so that we can see the shapes and select each of these, push pull, extrude them to four foot six. We can double click the rest of them. It remembers that last extrusion height. Massive, but we will replace them with real uh, trusses when we find them, uh, truss components. Let's uh, select this and group them. Make group. Let's create a layer called truss. And go ahead and replace those. Um, and we know from the CAD drawing that we have to uh, raise these now to uh, 14.6 plus the depth of the girder. Um, let's go to the front view. Turn on the floor slab, the columns, and the girder. Now we can zoom in, select those trusses, 
Use the move tool to we're moving the uh, along the view axis. So we can lock that in place. And type 14 6. Oop, I'm sorry, 16 6. Let's do that another another two feet. And that places it where it's supposed to be. It took a little longer than I wanted, but this is uh, uh, we proceeded carefully and a little bit of planning uh, in AutoCAD goes a long way when you're finding modeling uh, the trust.